Hey, it's Heather, and today I'm going to give you a quick rundown on the January 2009 food magazines. I have four here, the ones that I typically read. Bon Appetit, Gourmet, Food and Wine, and Everyday Food. I'm going to start with Bon Appetit, which gets the Best Redesign of 2008 award. It is very web friendly. At a glance, integrates beautifully with their website. and. Um, it has pasta on the cover, which is something that these all seem to share. They even have pasta or Italian food, and my theory is, well, uh, economy, home, what better than a delicious Italian food featuring pasta? Also, it's no longer such a scary bad carb. If people are welcoming pasta back, cook it al dente, it's really good. All right, so my favorite article in Bon Appetit today is, um, well, it's not exactly yummy. It's about um, mercury, mercury uh, in fish. Uh, important thing to be aware of. It's a short article. It's not going to scare you, but mercury it basically gets into fish from the pollution in the air. The bigger the fish, the top of the food chain, like tuna, uh, the more you should restrict it. But do not stop eating fish. It's really good for you. So that's worth a read if you get this magazine. Ah, the next magazine I want to talk about is classic, gold standard, Gourmet. Their feature is Italian American food, which for a while people were giving a little shade to. Oh, red sauce. Oh, all that pasta. It's fabulous. I lived in Little Italy in New York. It does not get better. And this is actually, um, I cooked a dish from this. I did not do a red sauce. I did a beautiful chicken dish that um, originally calls for rabbit, but happily gourmet didn't make me cook rabbit. See that? Is that not fabulous? It's a good recipe, not that simple in that gourmet, like some of these other magazines, uh, demands a little knowledge. So you had to start with a chicken that you would cut into 12 pieces. Okay, I can do that. You may do that, ask your butcher to, or just get chicken in pieces. It'll be really easy to do. The recipe calls for two chickens. They mean two small chickens. So if you get a four or five pounder, by all means, just use one. Uh, it's tricky. It calls for a uh, sheet pan with sides. You're gonna put wine in it. I think you can go with a little deeper dish casserole just to be safer. Um, hot oven, go with that hot oven, browns it really beautifully and they suggest a polenta that takes 40 minutes. I did mine in a minute. Is it better in 40 minutes? Yes, but it's perfectly fine in a minute. I will taste it later, but first I want to move on to food and wine, which actually um, also features Italian food. This is a soba dish they have, which is a pasta, and uh, Italian dishes you must try this year, so good to know. Uh, the difference is, is that um, Food and Wine, a magazine I truly love, Letty Teague, great wine writer, uh, Food and Wine uh, has Italian dishes dishes that come from restaurants. So it's a little high end, not exactly home cooked. Some of them is, but some of it isn't. For example, this one. This looking a little Mexican. No, 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 not a quesadilla. It is called a piadina. It is a flatbread that is um, used to wrap things in Italian food and I'm sure it's delicious, but I've never tasted it. So I don't want to try that. I'd like to know exactly what I'm getting to when I do a recipe. Um, so that's uh, my take on food and wine this month. Um, so I'm gonna give a little taste to my dish here, my chicken polenta and broccoli raw dish that I made from Gourmet. I'm gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison, let's see. Okay, this is their dish. This is mine, not bad. I followed the chicken recipe to the letter. I did my own broccoli raw and polenta. I'm not trying to do three recipes that are new in one sitting. Uh, so I pulled a wine, not a white nor an Italian, but I pulled a Pinot Noir, Poppy, which is California. Uh, $19 a bottle, a little rich for my blood typically, but um, occasionally I work in a wine shop and we sell this. This is definitely one of the favorites. And Pinot Noir, perfect with chicken. So I'm gonna give it a little taste. Ooh, it has pancetta, a little bacon. Oh, oh that's gonna be delicious. Take a look at that. That is very nice. A little smoky bacon, smooth polenta. Pinot Noir has a bright acidity, but not too bright. Balances beautifully. Now, I do wanna give one more shout out to what might be my overall favorite magazine to recommend to people. 
I've done it before, I'm gonna do it again. Everyday food, not filled with food stories. All these others have great food writing, but this has basic, solid information. And you know, it's not just for beginners. It's nice for people of all levels to get ideas. Um, and it doesn't overload you. For example, oh, this is a good reminder whether you are a seasoned uh, professional chef or um, somebody new in the kitchen. When you're looking at um, store labels in the grocery store, you need to read between the lines. When something says reduced, it doesn't mean it's low fat. I mean, think about reduced from what? Or reduced from being an incredibly high fat, high sodium food. So it just reminds you in very simple ways and it offers I mean really good whole food recipes not too many steps so that's my shout out for everyday food and there it is January 2009 for wines for recipes for much much more please hit my website so good.tv